Okay, so now we're looking at a higher level food chemistry thing. So starting in F7 here, we're looking at oxidative rancidity. So the process at which uh, things oxidatively um, go rancid, I guess. So here's the process we'll be looking at. Um, so the, this is the content standard. This is what it says you need to be able to do, is describe the steps in the free radical chain mechanism occurring during oxidative rancidity. And it, here is what most of the questions ask. Um, they ask you to write an initiation step, a propagation step, and this doesn't have it on it, but also a termination step. Um, and we'll look at what the standard actually is here in just a moment, but let's see what's happening. So what we have is we need to have some initiation. Well, we have an unsaturated lipid, or uh, let's talk about it this way. This is an unsaturated um, fatty acid. So if we have an unsaturated fatty acid, that's what we're starting with. Um, in here, it has it starting by reaction with a, a hydroxyl radical. We can ignore that. Um, all the book needs you to know is that this splits off and we make this unsaturated fatty acid. So if you know that, that's fine. Otherwise, we'll just know this. And your book actually has it making a hydrogen radical on that and that unsaturated fatty acid radical. So for our initiation step, we have our unsaturated fatty acid. Boom, one hydrogen bond breaks off. Again, through inference of ultraviolet light, it can definitely happen, or by decomposition with a metal catalyst. But we get that um, unsaturated lipid radical in this case. Now, that's our initiation step. That is step one, right? We need to make our radical. Our step two is our propagation step. And you probably need to know both propagation steps. So this radical reacts, attaches really to an oxygen. This is the oxidative part of this. Um, it gains oxygen. And then notice what we have. We have a peroxyl or um, hydroperoxide, is sometimes what uh, this group is called, well, this is a hydroperoxide, but we get a peroxyl radical. So this auction, really think of it as an auction group that's just attached to where that radical was. Now, these auctions have a radical on them. This is part two of the propagation, so that's step one of the propagation. Step two is that can react with another fatty acid, rip off that hydrogen, and then look at where we're back. We're back making another lipid radical. So notice how this can be kind of a circular process. It can react with oxygen, make this peroxyl radical. That peroxyl radical can rip off a hydrogen, and boom, we have another lipid radical. So it can keep going round and round and round like that. Our product of that is this peroxide, or this hydroperoxide, as our book would call it. So this is our hydroperoxide, um, which over time can degrade into making an aldehyde or a ketone that isn't going to taste very good either. So this is kind of, this is what's being made, but this then degrades as well. But we don't need to know that. We just need to know the steps in the mechanism. Initiation, propagation, and then we also need to know a termination step. Well, termination can be any time two radicals come together, right? Just like in um, organic chemistry, if we have two lipid radicals coming together, where they both are radicals, well, then they can come together and terminate. We could have this peroxyl radical, come together with this lipid radical, and that could terminate. Anytime we have two radicals, we could have two of these come together with each other and terminate. So anytime we have two things coming together that are radicals, that is a termination step. So you should know initiation, a propagation, and a termination, just like we did for organic chemistry. Okay, here's what your book tells you on the subject. So notice these intermediates are hydroperoxides, these hydroperoxides degrade over time into aldehydes, ketones. That's what they're telling us. What you need to know, again, is you need to be able to write an initiation step where we form the first free radical. So once we for form the first free radical, which often, again, is done with exposure to light. So notice this R is our unsaturated fatty acid, right? This is our carbon chain, um, our fat, with our unsaturated fat there, uh, ripping off the hydrogen. So this is what we had on the previous side, where we're breaking off that hydrogen. Um, homolytically, um, we get that fatty acid attacking oxygen. This is a making our peroxyl. That peroxyl is again t attacking another fatty acid, producing again a propagation step there where that can react again and again and again. Um, this is our hydroperoxyl that degrades into an aldehyde or ketone. And then again, termination step is anytime we have two free radicals coming together. And that is oxidative rancidity.